luxury for us now is a level of refinement. It's not which whistles and bells to attach. It's how to edit those in a really beautiful, unique way. The architecture is a very important part of the city. It's the right time for Sydney to be putting up some good pieces of architecture on the waterfront. Creating the ambiance of nature, even in an urban setting or a resort setting such as this, is critical. What sort of strikes me about this, this project is the physical nature of the building is, is incredible. It's an incredible piece of architecture. One of the most beautiful buildings we've ever seen. You have to really love it and you have to care for it because it's nothing like I've ever worked on before. The whole office was ultra excited to work on the project. I think it's one of the best sites in the world. This building is something that's really going to be another beautiful symbol for the city. There's so much waterfront. It's like Venice on a big scale. And I think that makes it very special. The site demanded something sculptural. And that was just three petals that rose up independently and twisted as they rose. Chris Wilkinson has sculpted the building to maximize the views. As it goes up, it's twisting and turning. There are over 30 floors of 82 residences. Your views will be completely unique to your neighbors and to everyone else's. Lifestyle is an important part of the Sydney culture. And because the building reacts to that dynamic, the coastal nature of Sydney, the interiors reflect that energetic lifestyle that Sydney has. I think that makes the building very different as well. Just like sculpture, there's nuance in every moment. When I first saw the site, I was amazed at the connection to the harbor, and that very much influenced the design of the swimming pool. So where people are sitting in a swimming pool, we have a horizon edge and the harbor just flows out of that. Of course, we have two pools, saunas, seven or eight restaurants, gyms, tennis courts, an amazing spa. They're all the sort of things that you have to go out to find. Well, here, you just get in the elevator and you can enjoy all the comforts or, in fact, get them to come up to your place. People are seeing the advantages of living in the centre of the city. I think the precinct is really, really amazing because you've got the Headland Park, you've got Barangaroo Central, and you've also got a very short walk to the city. For a good building, you need a good patron, and certainly Crown are really terrific in that respect. The way that Crown has assembled a global team reflects that the global community will be enjoying this building and living in this building. Our team and Chris's team and the St. Leger team have come together and all worked extremely hard to pull this together. In fact, probably 10 years ago, it would have been almost impossible. Any visitors going to arrive in Sydney, they're going to see the Opera House, the Harbour Bridge, and they will see one brand new room. And I think it's going to be a destination. For the people of Sydney, it's going to bring that iconic element that will elevate the city even more. I really hope that they're moved and they have a, an emotional response to this space. It's going to be stunning. It's pushing the boundaries, but that's what makes life worthwhile, I think.